Welcome guys, I'm Guido here, hope you're having a great day and in this video we discussed different types of maps in RxJS. If you check documentation or RxJS based code, you'll notice that there are different types of maps. There is regular map, there is merge map, concat map, switch map and exhaust map and they all do different things. Even though they are simple RxJS operators, they help us to combine and chain different observables together so we can compose them and achieve different uh, flows and different logics and different functionalities. That's why they are so important. In order to use RxJS properly, we have to understand how these map functions work. So for this video, I've prepared some examples and uh, some slides so we can visualize how they work and examine different behaviors of different maps. So let's uh, jump into the examples and let me show you how this operators work. Before we check the actual operators, let's look at these helper functions and see what they are doing. Let's start with the simplest one, it's called nums, and it is simply emitting uh, values from 1 to 7. Uh, if we refresh the page, we'll see uh, even though they are displayed immediately, they are separate values emitted separately. And that's how this observable works. Then we have another observable, it is called nums with delay. It is almost the same as nums, but if we refresh this, it returns one, two, three, then it makes some pause, and uh, then it returns the rest of the numbers. This will be useful, uh, especially with exhaust map and switch map, and to see how they uh, work. And uh, then we have uh, get num function, and this function is making HTTP call behind the scenes to my API that I have created for this video. And the API simply returns back whatever number we pass in. So if we pass in one and uh, refresh the page, we'll receive one after some time. And if we check the network tab, it is returning, uh, it is making the HTTP call. And this is my API and we get the one. If I pass in the two, it will uh, return the two and uh, the API has some delay. It is random and uh, some responses might return quickly than the others. So that's how it works. And finally, we have another function process now, which also returns observable and um, whatever number is passed here will be used as a prefix. And if we refresh the page, we will see that we are receiving three different strings and they are prefixed with the number we have passed in. So we have one, two, three. If I pass in uh, five, I will receive five, one, five, two, and five, three. And again, here they, 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 they have delay between the emissions of these uh, values. That's how this observable work. It's not important how they are actually implemented. We'll just use them as the tools to demonstrate how the map functions work. Behind the scenes, they are using the obviously RxJS and generating observables. So the result of these function calls is observable. And that's the key to remember moving forward. Let's start with the merge map. And for this example, I want to be using nums and get num. Remember that nums is just returning numbers from one to seven and get num is making HTTP call to server. It is receiving a single number and when the result is available, it is pushed down to subscriber. So what I want to do is that for every number, I want to make some call, some HTTP call, and then when the result is available, I want to push it down to subscriber. And uh, the first uh, thought that you might get is that, well, we have the map function, right? And in the previous video, we have learned how to use map. It is basically transforming the value that is coming from source, in this case, nums, and uh, whatever the transformed value is, is pushed down to subscriber. And so we can write something like this. And you might think, well, it is making the transformation, right? We are getting the number. Every number that will be returned from nums will pass in here. And then, you know, we are calling the num, right? Get num. And this is making HTTP request. Well, uh, let's check the actual result. 
and if we look at that there is some strange object here it seems to be an observable and uh, no requests are being made but clearly we have seen that get num is making HTTP requests when we checked here so what is happening let's explain that so what's the problem well get num returns observable and map just returns this observable but the problem is that we are not interested in the observable that is returned from get num we are interested in the result that is returned from this inner observable to visualize this let's uh look at this we have get num and we are passing a number and it is returning the observable okay and uh, map is working absolutely fine remember it is returning the value that is attained by transforming it with given mapping function and here in the end we have received observable because this is what get num returns but in this case we are interested in the results that are obtained from this observable that was generated by this mapping function and the results can be one two three and so on clearly map isn't going to work in this case because we want some operator some function that will take this observable whatever is returned from mapping function here and then listen to it and whenever the results are available then it will uh, push down them down the line to subscribers so we have to deal with inner observables or sub observables if you will and that's where all these operators come in they all work with observables and uh, they listen to the inner observables that are generated by mapping function and uh, whenever the results are available they will push them down the line to subscribers now all of them behave differently and uh, we will check them but uh, let's start with merge map and uh, see how it works let's check the result and as you see I have received the results and uh, even though the order is not guaranteed I have received them and if I check the network call here all the requests are made and our API has returned the values let's explain how merge map works as you see the requests are made in order you know as the numbers came came in from the source and uh, in this case the source is this nums uh, just numbers from one to seven but as i've said before our api has some delay some artificial delay and some responses come quicker than the others that's why the results are chaotic it seems that call for the six was finished first then for three then for one and so on so what the merge map does is it is making the requests and as long as the results are available it pushes them down to uh, subscribers now this mapping function here doesn't necessarily have to return some http call uh, we can have some other processing function that does some calculation or some complex computation and uh, simply takes maybe a long time and we represent this as observable so the thing is that merge map works with any observable that we return from mapping function and in this case it happens to be making http call now if we put here process num which prefixes these numbers and observe the behavior we will see again the chaotic results that we have seen in this case let's refresh the page and uh, as you see yeah this uh, this is the result as soon as result is available it is pushed down to subscribers and in this case of course network calls aren't made because this is generated in memory now to understand merge map even better i have prepared some slides here and uh, we will visualize how it works so we have the source and then we have the destination source is some observable that merge map is subscribed to and the destination is subscriber either some other operator or subscriber created by user so how it works well uh, if we look at this uh, values arrive from the source and merge map is listening to that 
and uh, as soon as the value appears merge map calls the mapping function obtains the observable and uh, starts listening to it so in this case it will generate first uh, observable as the first value appeared from the source now moving forward it can receive other values from the source and uh, it will also uh, call the mapping function get the observable and start listening to it start listening results now while all of this is going on uh, the merge map can also receive values uh, from you know inner observables that is subscribed and uh, as soon as it receives the values from this inner observables it will push them down the line since they are observables and some of them might return values earlier than the others the order is not guaranteed that's how merge map works eventually some of the observables might complete you know we have the completion event for every observable and some of them might implement that and if it is uh, completed then well merge map isn't going to listen to it anymore and uh, it is kind of removed out of this uh, inner observable pool for the merge map and then another value might appear from the another inner observable and again it will be pushed down to destination to subscribers all of this go is going at the same time so it is listening to the source it is listening to the inner observables it is generating the inner observables as the values arrive from the source and it is also passing down the results that are appeared from the inner observables so it's a very dynamic process that's why it's uh, a bit tricky to understand when you just read the documentation uh, it simply is not enough and as i've said before when the inner observables get completed uh, well they are completed and merge map doesn't care about them anymore and uh, as new values arrive from the source it is again doing the same process listening to the inner observable and uh, when they get the results well they uh, are pushed down to destination to the uh, subscriber and again if uh, the inner observable uh, gets completed merge map isn't interested in this anymore and uh, yeah it's it's done and uh, this is how it works so it receives the values from the source generates inner observables and as soon as the values are available from the inner observables it will uh, be pushed down to a line to the destination speaking from the practical uh, standpoint merge map can be useful in scenarios where you want to perform as many operations as possible and you don't necessarily care about the order of results let's check the concat map now it's actually very similar to merge map it is uh, considering the order as they are coming from the source and the results will be ordered as well so let's uh, check this first and uh, see how it works if i refresh the page as you see it is returning the results but the order is maintained it is taking a long time of course but the crucial thing here is that it maintains the order until one request is finished it's not gonna process the other value as you see the requests are made as well now let's uh, observe the request tab let me refresh this and as you see it is making a single request when it is completed it is making the second request and then it is waiting for that and uh, so on so the, the way concrete map works is it, it is listening to the source uh, getting the values from the source and then processes them one by one it is very useful in uh, cases where we care about the order and we want to receive the results in the order they uh, appear from the source let's um, check the code and uh, we can use a process num uh, function here we have checked uh, how requests work and here in this case as well uh, if we look at this uh, it is returning the values in, in the order so first it received one and the inner observable generated this it got completed then it moved to the two three and so on and all of this is ordered and um, this is how concrete map behaves
again to better visualize how it works I have prepared some slide here and uh, we will see how the concat map is processing the values again here we have the source it is receiving values from the source and then as results are available it pushes them down to destination so let's check this it receives the value and then obviously it is going to generate the inner observable and uh, start listening to it while this is happening concat map might receive other values from the source but it's going to hold them up in the queue it's not going to process them immediately because it is still waiting for this inner observable to get completion and if it and by the way if it, it doesn't get completed all the other values won't be processed so we have to make sure that observable this inner observable will uh, get completed you know it is listening to that listening to the source and queuing up the values as soon as the values are available from inner or observables they are pushed down to destination at some point inner observable will get completed it should get completed and when that happens concrete map will consider the value processed so it will say okay the first observable it's completed the first value is processed now moving on to the next and it will do the same process it will spin up the observable and start listening to it and as the result will be available from the uh, second observable they will be pushed down to the destination and uh, so on when this goes out the second value will be considered as completed as processed and concat map will move on to the next value in this case three again it will generate inner observable and start listening to this and queuing up the values from the source that come in, in a concrete map during this time and again as results are available they are pushed down to subscribers and uh, this is how it works so concrete map is taking each value from the source creating observable for it and then listening to it when it is completed it is moving on to the next one that's why it is able to maintain the order let's move on to the other one switch map and exhaust map are quite specific and uh, that's why we need uh, nums with delay to uh, demonstrate how they work let's start with the switch map with our nums and uh, make some http calls with switch map let's check that if i refresh the page and wait i only receive seven why is that well let's check the network tab as you see all the requests are made but all of them except seven are cancelled uh, why is that well the way switch map works is that as soon as the values arrive from the source it will just unsubscribe from the current inner observable and just discard it in this case it means that the requests are cancelled so when we unsubscribe from it from the http requests that are represented as observables they are just cancelled that's why we are able to make call to this to seven and that's why we received the seven all the other requests were cancelled because they arrive in quick succession now let's use the other source nums with delay and see how it will uh, perform let's wait for it now i have received the three and i have received seven so the first three values have arrived very quickly so first and second queries are cancelled and only third one is made and uh, be because uh, fourth value has arrived at a later time switch map was able to complete the subscription for uh, the third uh, call and it was able to obtain a result and that's why we received it and this request was made and then when the four five six and seven came they came in quick succession so the previous ones were cancelled and uh, it was only able to complete the seventh one and we have received it now let's check this with uh, another function with process num first check it with nums 
and uh, see how it works. Refresh the page and as you see it has worked only for seven again for the same reason it was for HTTP requests and if we use nums with delay which is returning the numbers but with delay now we will see that we also receive three exactly the same like we had with um, HTTP requests to better visualize this let's check some slides Again, it's the same scenario. We have source, we have destination, and switch map is waiting uh, values from the source. So we receive it, and as soon as switch map receives the value from the source, it's going to spin up the observable, inner observable, and start listening to it. Now, another value might arrive at the same time as switch map is listening to the inner observable. And if that happens, the uh, subscription is cancelled so switch map will unsubscribe from the inner observable and uh, start all over again but for the latest value in this case for two it will start listening to it and in this case this might manage to yield some value before another value arrives from the source so as soon as value is available from the inner observable switch map will take it and push it down the line this might get completed, this might not, switch map doesn't care. If uh, another value comes from the source, uh, it will be cancelled. So switch map will unsubscribe from the inner observable and again do the same for the third value. It will spin up the observable and uh, start listening to it. Yeah, if it returns the value, then, well, it will push down to destination. This is very useful when we only care about the latest results with latest params. Let's say we have some table and we have some search input and we may have to make HTTP calls to the server to retrieve the search results. And uh, we are only interested in the latest uh, results. So uh, when user is typing something, uh, we are canceling the previous requests and uh, whatever the last result will be, we are just Going to display that. So let's uh, check exhaust map now. Actually, it is uh, similar with switch map, but um, kind of reverse. So uh, let's let's check that. Let's check the results. Refresh the page, and we have received only one. Let's check the network tab and uh, yeah, we have only one and it seems that other requests are ignored. They are simply not made. Well, switch map canceled them, the exhaust map just didn't make them. So what's happening? Let's, uh, let's check the nums with delay. Uh, it will help us to understand how the exhaust map behaves and refresh the page and um, see what we get okay and uh, we have received one and four and if we check the requests it was made one and four well why is that as i've said before exhaust map is kind of reverse of a switch map so if it receives the value from the source it starts listening to it and until it gets completed it will ignore all the other values from the source so it has received one and it was able to complete this you know made the request and uh, then arrived four five and so on and uh, then you know it made the request and uh, that's why we got four here so if we if we check uh, process num function instead of the get num, we will expect similar results. And yeah, as you see, it is waiting for the first one to complete. And uh, because we have the delay here, it is able to complete first one, and that's why it is then able to continue and uh, process the fourth. Now let's check it with nums again. So in this case won't be able to uh, process all of them because the first one is taking some time again to understand it better let's check some slides 
again we have the source we have destination and we have exhaust map and it is listening values from the source and uh, when the value arrives it is going to generate the observable and start listening to it wait for its values now if other values are going to come from source while exhaust map is waiting for the inner observable they will be simply ignored and that's why we have uh, got the result in the browser that we got you know the, the behavior we have observed all the other things are cancelled from the source or ignored while uh, inner observable is going on and as soon as uh, the values arrive from the inner observable they are pushed down to subscribers and uh, you know whenever the inner observable gets completed then the exhaust map is open for another values from the source after it is completed and exhaust map receives another value from the source it will then do the uh, same as it did for the first one it will create the observable uh, inner observable and start listening to it and as it uh, gets the value from the inner one then it will be pushed down to a destination and uh, that's why it is called exhaust map it is waiting for completion it is going to take all the values you know uh, everything from the inner observable and it will ignore all the values that are coming from the source and again when it uh, uh, receives the value uh, from the source when the inner subscription is still active and inner observable isn't completed it will be ignored i don't recall using that uh, operator myself personally but i've definitely seen them in different uh, codes on various projects in my time I think that's it. We have covered these map functions that we work with inner observables that are generated by these mapping functions. And um, I think they are just very, very useful and uh, they add kind of another layer of usefulness to RxJS. And because of these operators, we can compose different observables together, even though these nums and process num have nothing to do with each other, they are separate observables they can be combined and composed with uh, these uh, mapping functions and they are very important now as you understand them you can uh, start using them in your projects in your code and as you get more practice uh, you will uh, better understand how this works but i hope uh, this helped you these examples and uh, the slides now you understand these behaviors and uh, so on and uh, yeah uh, that's it uh, that's it for this uh, video hope you enjoyed it uh, click the like button subscribe and uh, share it with your friends